let's just attack the pawn here I think there's a lot of shuffling noises in the background into when I'm moving my hand on the phone but hey feeling a bit gruff so the actual league match is coming up in a few days time so hoping to pep myself up get some vitamin C in me and all sorts of stuff it's nothing worse than going to a match and feeling a little bit down doesn't help with the motivation support the pawn just in case the bishop takes the knight there's the greedy munch of the pawn oh he's taken here anyway. let's go with that I was just going to say there is the greedy munch of the e pawn but seeing as that's going to be defended now we don't need to take it with the knight it's usually classed as the poison pawn if you take it too early as well so you have to be careful Took a while with that one. We could continue attacking the centre, but we would lose the pawn. So if we bring the bishop through, stopping the knight from actually taking the pawn, if we did start attacking in the centre, might as well take the knight off the board now then and attack in the centre. Or do we just go and castle first because we might rule the day we didn't get castled by attacking in the centre? So he's going to bring his bishop down onto the knight. Let's go. Do you know, I think I'm tacking. No, I'm going to attack the centre. It doesn't look that meaty with them bringing the bishop down towards the king's side. I don't think it's going to cause us too much trouble. Let's just take the palm. I am conscious we need to get castled, king safety, no issues there. So I think we will look to do that now. Is there a more proactive position for the bishop? Mm, not really. Could bring the queen up and attack the palm, but he's just going to defend with the rook. That's less time for us to get castled. Definitely bring the bishop up now. Stacking the queen. Just bring the queen to the side. Looks like he's trying to get us disturbed so we don't get castled. So fingers crossed, we should be okay. They'll be looking to move their queen over to the G was it G6 and get the cheapy with the bishop coming down to H3 if we castle on the king side. And as we speak, <laughs> so if we castled now, then he, they would win our rook with the bishop. So our knight could attack their queen. Is there anything else? Um, nothing to panic about, really. The knight could take the pawn and be on the queen. Probably going to be a world of hurt coming towards our king's side. Let's take the pawn and attack the queen. The queen's going to come down for a greedy munch of the pawn. We can bring the bishop up attacking the queen. Yeah, so bring the bishop up, protection from the knight. It's also defending the rook with the bishop. Voice is going. So it's a bit of an ugly position. Knight's not got any protection on, so you can probably envisage that the queen's going to come up. But our queen can take it if it goes to g5. So it may just go to h3 and hang around there. Yeah. 
so it's just hanging around there. Um, we're camping our queen over into the f4, give the king some company because he's basically wanting to stop us from castling by being in that position. If we can get our queen to um, f4, I suppose their bishop probably is going to come and attack, but we've got the knight also defending. But their f pawn will be attacking the knight. Our king is very airy at the minute. So I'm going to bring the queen up. Probably the pawn is going to attack it. We can slide the queen onto g3, attacking their queen. Alright, so they've plumped for attacking with the pawn that was under threat. So the knight can move into g6. Just for a brief moment. And then maybe go to e7. Put in a check on the king and the bishop. Or there might be something better. Is there anything better? Let's just bring the knight into the king's area for a brief moment. Okay, so the knight's out. So we could go for, go for the pawn, but then we wouldn't be able to get the rook because the knight is protecting. So we could attack the queen like we originally planned. Don't think the queen is going to accept the exchange. And the knight can't go to the square e7 because the knight is also defending. So that check is out. I think we'll just go with the attacking the queen. I don't think they will take. I think they'll swing the queen back. Oh, they've not done any of that. So we could bring the knight back and attack the queen, bring it to f4, like I said I don't think they're going to exchange the queen, if the queen does move then we can bring the queen up and go to g6 with a check on the king, and if they do take we'll just take, up, take it with the h pawn. If we take their queen, the bishop comes down, it's still stopping the um, castle on the king's side. But I think that's what they're playing, they're playing that sort of game, aren't they? Have they given themselves a bit of trouble? Not really, queen can't get in. I think I'm just bringing the knight back and attacking the queen. looking at the pawn structure as well the reason why I'll probably take if they do take our queen take with the h pawn is to give, give us linked pawns so we don't want to have an isolated pawn in the center if we take with the f pawn just thinking future tense if it gets to the future They do take, so I'll take with the H pawn like we mentioned. Hopefully, fingers crossed, planning forward ahead, having linked pawns. Just need to move our bishop out of the way somewhere. Probably a check on their king. So the knight's actually attacking, so it's a good time to actually do this. But if we do bring the bishop to H5 with a check on the king, their pawn drops down onto the bishop. We do have two pieces there, but it does have the king. So it wouldn't be an even exchange. So we could always bring the bishop back in front of the king. 
Well, we might as well just bring the bishop in front of the king now and save maybe potentially the check on the king. We could bring the king up to support, but the knight takes, king takes, then the rook gets to d2. So I think I'm going to bring it down. I bet the knight's got a will and then to the if buts and maybes. So we've come here. So then they go, right, okay, you've not taken, so I jump to c4, get some sort of whirlwind. Mm. And again, his white square bishop can attack it as well. Let's just bring it back. White square bishop needs to come off the bat, so I think it will attack. I think it'll go to g4. We don't have to take it. We can block up. But he's got two pieces on there, so we'd lose out. He's attacking us straight away. So the knight can jump to the center, d5, but all the pawns are going to keep hitting it. So we could actually attack their knight. We've got support of the pawn here. So let's attack their knight and see what they want to do. Our rook's got an attack on their h-pawn, which is unprotected at the moment. But this is, looks like it's going to be a bit of a move order thing here, so we're just sitting back waiting for them to keep extending and attacking. Maybe we can take advantage of some spaces in key areas. It's not going for any of that, so they're going a bit fancy. So it's still wanting to stop us from castling in a sense, but we could castle kingside if we take with the take the knight with the bishop. If we don't take the knight with the bishop, what is his plan? Where's his knight going? I think they're probably expecting us to push the f3 onto the knight, so then the knight goes into e3. And then that definitely stops any castle in game sort of situation. So if we did take the, um, the knight and the bishop then takes, then the rook still has access to this um, free pawn here on, the, on h6. So it'll be slightly advantageous to us. This pawn in the center on E doesn't have any support, but I'm sure we could put, mind you, we can't, and we, we won't be able to push that up. It'll be an isolated pawn, because the bishop will be there. So if we take the knight, the bishop takes. And if the knight went to attack the bishop, the bishop would just come behind and go to f3, attacking the rook and the pawn. So I suppose we'd have to take their rook pawn on the head. So the knight doesn't need to attack it. Hmm. Bishop takes the knight, bishop takes the bishop, rook takes the pawn. Their bishop looks like it's one move behind. Did something flash on the screen? Did they offer a draw? I'm, 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 I missed something. One second. Oh, they've resigned. 30 minute 20. Is it 30 minute 20 or 30 minute 10? Doesn't look like this play is starting. The light's already gone out.
let's crack on with another one got no time to waste messing about let's just push through the center let's develop the night let's uh, stop the fried liver let's go to the palm let's support our development of our next night let's take Let's get the night out. Let's castle in safety. Queen in the center of the board. Let's just attack the bishop. That's an interesting situation that they're developing for themselves. Small piece attacking a high piece. Let's get the pawn attacking the queen. Small piece again attacking the bishop. Let's attack the bishop. Positioning for the knight to whirlwind round and potentially attack the queen as well. Let's take the bishop. Let's attack the bishop. Behind the bishop is a free pawn if we wanted to go for that. Knight could attack, like we said, the queen. The queen's probably going to defend the pawn at the. Oh, it's not. It's attacking our pawn. Our queen can defend the pawn, but we'd have to push this pawn up the C pawn, and it's got a 2 on 1 with this bishop. So let's take the bishop off the board. And we can push the pawn, but again, like I said, if, if he takes the pawn, then the knight can take a support just for the queen support in the A pawn. So I'm actually going to push the pawn. The pawn will take, yep, exactly. Now we can bring the rook here and attack the queen and attacking the pawn at the same time. Queen takes with no protection on because our queen is there. That was what I was hoping on with the pawn push up. Sometimes players forget that that you know the queen is on the horizontal, and it looks like they may have left the game. 